Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, in 2010-11, there was a big movement in this country, anti-corruption movement, which was also known as the Jan Lokpal movement and sometimes also known as the Anna movement. The basic object was that uh, rampant corruption in this country and one of the major reasons for that rampant corruption is that there is no independent investigative authority. All the corruption investigation agencies, whether it is CBI or the police, are controlled by different governments. The CBI by the central government, the police agencies by the state government, and therefore these agencies are not able to independently and robustly um, investigate the corruption of those very people who control, who have administrative uh, control over these agencies. So the basic idea of the Jan Lokpal was that the Jan Lokpal would, would be a authority which would be created, which would be totally independent of the uh, governments. There would be a central Lokpal which would have investigative powers over central public servants over uh, central ministers and members of parliament and there would be state lokayuks which would have investigative powers over state ministers, state uh, MLAs as well as state public servants. These lokpals would be completely independent of the respective governments their appointment also would not be controlled by the government or even by the politicians because we felt that even the leader of opposition, even the opposition parties uh, do not want a strong uh, anti-corruption agency because their past corruption or future corruption of the opposition is also likely to be investigated by the same Lokpal. So we felt that the uh, selection of the Lokpal should be kept independent of the government and the entire political class that is including the opposition and therefore in the Jan Lokpal bill, you see the Jan Lokpal bill which was drafted by us uh, went into 13 versions. The last version and each one was put out in the public domain for comments and we kept on improving it until we reached the last version which was 2.3 which we reached sometime uh, towards the end of this uh, joint drafting committee. As you are all aware, the government appointed a joint drafting committee consisting of five members nominated by Annaji and five ministers of the government in 2011. And in the members nominated by Annaji, he was there, Justice Santosh Hegde was there, my father Mr. Shanti Bhushan was there, I was there and Arvind was there. The final bill that we drafted was version 2.3 in which the uh, selection of the Lokpal was to be done by a nine member body which consisted of uh, nine or more uh, which cons and the Lokpal was to be a uh, nine or eleven member body and the selection committee would also be a nine plus members committee in which the government would have only one representative that is the Prime Minister and <clears throat> the, uh, there would be only one other politician that is the leader of opposition. After there would be two judges of the Supreme Court selected by all the judges of the Supreme Court, two Chief Justices of High Court selected by all the Chief Justices of the High Courts, the Controller and Auditor General, the Chief Election Commissioner and all the previous chairmen of the Lokpal. <clears throat> uh, the removal of the Lokpal was also kept out of the hands of the politicians. We had provided that the Lokpal could be removed only uh, if the Supreme Court on a complaint made by any citizen found the Lokpal guilty of serious misconduct and if they found him guilty of serious misconduct he would be removed and there would be no interference thereafter by the uh, parliament or by the government etc. The president would sign his orders for removal so that his removal would not be controlled by the government or parliament. 
we had also provided that uh, the process of selection of the lokpal would be a transparent process there would be a search committee which would <coughs> uh, invite applications publicly invite applications thereafter prepare a shortlist and the shortlisted member names of the shortlisted members would be put out on a public website we had also provided that uh, the functioning of the lokpal would be transparent and that there uh, uh, that the detail of the investigations done by them would be put out on a public website after the investigation had been completed uh, so all these provisions were there in the jan lokpal bill that we had drafted thereafter uh, in 2011 the uttarakhand government wanted a lokayukt bill uh, of, for that state which we helped draft arvind and i had gone there and helped to draft that bill which is a fine bill in which again there is a very broad based selection committee of seven members in which there are only two politicians the uh, the chief minister as well as the leader of opposition so only two out of seven are from the political class and only one out of seven is from the government thereafter when the aam aadmi party government came in 2014 Uh, another bill was drafted this time on the basis of the uttara essentially on the basis of our jan lokpal bill and the uttarakhand bill with one with a few minor differences for example in the jan lokpal bill that we had drafted and the uttarakhand bills there was no provision for imprisonment for a false complaint but the 2014 bill provided that if there was a willful false complaint which was malafide and malicious etc then uh, the uh, uh, the court could uh, send the person the complainant to jail for up to one year so the 2014 bill was largely on the lines of the uh, uttarakhand bill as well as our uh, jan lokpal bill which we had prepared in the joint drafting committee in which the selection committee again had seven members uh, which had the uh, the chief minister the leader of opposition two judges of the high court uh, and uh, uh, one person uh, sorry two persons from among judges of the supreme court chief justices of the high courts uh, army chiefs election commissioners information commissioners controller and auditor generals etc so the categories were clearly specified from among whom two persons would be selected by the above four persons that is uh, two judges plus prime minister uh, chief minister plus leader of opposition and thereafter there would be uh, the previous lokpals uh, or the last lokpal or the senior most of the previous lokpals would also be a member of the selection committee that bill also had provisions for a search committee transparency in the process of selection it also had a similar provision that removal could only be done by the high court with no interference by the government uh it also had transparency in the functioning of the lokpal and its jurisdiction of the delhi lokpal was restricted to state public servants the state ministers the um, other um, uh, other public functionaries which were under the state government it did not it did not have uh, any jurisdiction over the central public servants but uh as you know the aam aadmi party government of arvind resigned uh in 49 days after that 2014 bill was not allowed to be tabled on the ground that it required previous sanction of the lieutenant governor which had not been taken thereafter when the Uh, aam aadmi party government came again in 2000 in february 2015 uh, 
we expected that the first thing that they would do, which was the issue on which they had designed, would be to bring the 2014 bill, table it, after taking the approval of the Lieutenant Governor, and thereafter have it passed. But nothing happened for uh, more than nine months. After nine months, when people started questioning the intent of the government, then there was an announcement that the cabinet had approved a Lokpal bill, uh, a, a gen, what they call the Jan Lokpal bill, and that it would be tabled in the assembly soon. When we asked for copies of that bill, because there had been no publication of that bill, no transparency about that bill, we were told that no, it cannot be given because it would constitute breach of privilege. Eventually, two days before it was to be tabled, uh, Pankaj Pushkar, who was a member of the Business Advisory Committee, uh, on his insistence, a copy of the bill was given to him as well as to other MLAs in accordance with the rules of business. When we saw the contents of this bill, we found that they were shockingly different from the, all the previous bills that we had helped to draft. They were different in the basic provisions of that bill. For example, the selection of the Lokpal was now controlled by the politicians. There were four persons in the selection committee, the chief minister, the leader of opposition, the speaker, and the chief justice of the high court, which means three out of the four persons in the selection committee were politicians, and two out of the four were from the government, which meant that no Lokpal could be appointed without the consent of the government. Secondly, <clears throat> There was no transparency at all in the selection of the Lokpal. There was no search committee. There was no provision for putting out the uh, names of the shortlisted persons on a public website, etc. Thirdly, the removal of the Lokpal was now again controlled by the politicians because the removal was that the Lokpal could be removed by two thirds majority of the MLAs on. Uh, proved misbehavior. It was not provided as to how the misbehavior would be proved, who would prove the misbehavior, but it just said that it would be removed by two-thirds majority of the MLAs. Thereafter, there was no transparency provided in the functioning of the Lokpal either. There was no financial autonomy of the Lokpal. All the previous bills that we had made, including the 2014 bill, had financial autonomy, which means that the Lokpal could make their own budget and the government would have to pay for that budget. Here, there was no provision of that, uh, of that kind at all. The previous 2014 bill had seven to 11 member Lokpal. That is one plus six up to one plus 10. Chairman plus six to 10 others. Now the new bill of 2015 has a three-member Lokpal. When we pointed this out by way of a press conference, the Aam Aadmi Party came up with the stand that, no, no, this bill that they are introducing is identical to the 2014 bill. Because at that time, we didn't have a copy of the 2014 bill with us. But soon thereafter, we were able to get a copy of the 2014 bill. The 2014 bill also, as I said, since it had been drafted essentially on the basis of our Jan Lokpal bill as well as on the basis of the Uttarakhand bill, it had all those provisions of a broad-based selection committee, uh, the uh, removal not being under the control of the politicians, the transparency in selection, transparency in the functioning of the Lokpal, financial autonomy, and an independent investigation wing for the Lokpal. The present 2015 bill does not even provide for an independent investigation wing. It just says that the Lokpal may appoint investigating officers or select officers from any government investigating agency with the consent of the government. So, <clears throat> When all this was pointed out that, look, this is not even the 2014 bill, then two amendments were eventually proposed and made in the bill, 
and with those two amendments the bill has been passed the first amendment is in the selection committee uh, it instead of now uh, four members they have said six members they have added one more high court judge and they have added what they call one eminent person without providing for any qualifications that he should be should have been a former election commissioner or cag or judge etc just says one eminent person to be selected by a committee of four people that is chief minister speaker leader of opposition and chief justice of the high court which means that three out of the four people in the selection committee of this eminent person are politicians which means that tomorrow uh, tomar who was the law minister can be designated as an eminent person and appointed the lokpal tomar somnath bhartiya or any of these people so uh, and it says that also the previous lokpal so presently there will be no previous lokpal there will be only six members and out of these six members as i said three are politicians and the fourth eminent person is also likely to be a politician or somebody close to these politicians and there are only two other judges one chief justice and one other judge of the high court so therefore four out of six people in the selection committee are still uh, from the political class or controlled by the political class also the removal they made one amendment in the removal they said ki removal of the lokpal cannot be done uh, unless the high court finds the person guilty of misconduct but eventually the removal can only be done by two third majority of the uh, mlx which means that if you have a corrupt lokpal for example if tomar is appointed lokpal and the high court says that this man has fabricated his degrees and therefore he must be removed the uh, political class that is the mlas can still protect him and not remove him and he can stay on as the lokpal the earlier bill said that once the high court or the supreme court finds the lokpal or the lokpal guilty of any misconduct he will have to be removed so all in all what has been passed by the assembly uh, delhi assembly day before yesterday is a cruel joke on what we had conceived as an independent lokpal we had said that the appointment must be independent that the removal must be by an independent authority like the high court and the supreme court there should be no political interference that it should have its own investigative agency that its uh, selection process should be transparent that its functioning should be transparent that its um, it should have financial autonomy now they have removed all these things in the 2015 bill as i have said which they have passed the selection is controlled by the politicians removal is controlled eventually by the politicians there is no provision for an independent investigative agency though it says that they can designate investigating officers or it says uh, or take the officers from other governments with their consent there is no provision for transparency of the lokpal no transparency in the functioning of the lokpal and no financial autonomy and on top of it they have added one mischievous clause that the lokpal will have delhi lokpal will have jurisdiction over all corruption which takes place in delhi which means that the corruption of the central government would also come under this lokpal the previous drafts whether of our original jan lokpal or of the uttarakhand bill or of the 2014 delhi bill said that the delhi lokpal or the uttarakhand lokpal would only have jurisdiction over corruption done by the uh, state uh, officials that means the state ministers the state mlas as well as the state uh, government servants now this clause which has been introduced of giving territorial jurisdiction which was not there in our earlier bills will clearly create a conflict with the central government because they will say 
that look how can you give jurisdiction to the Delhi Lokpal over the corruption of the central governments. As a result of that conflict, the uh, central government is not likely to approve the passage of this bill and they will say okay, look this is totally different from your previous draft this is totally different from the conception of jurisdiction of the Lokpals. Lokpals were never intended to have territorial jurisdiction because by giving this kind of territorial jurisdiction you are saying that if the minister of Delhi goes to Noida and takes a bribe in Noida then he can't be investigated by the Delhi Lokpal because he has committed the corruption outside the territory of Delhi. So <clears throat> this clause seems to have been mischievously added to ensure that even this weak Sarkari Lokpal does not become law and that this bill never gets passed. So this is the situation today where we feel that all the promises that we had made during the anti-corruption movement, all the promises that had been made prior to the elections by the Aam Aadmi Party have been betrayed and a cruel joke has been perpetrated on all the people who were involved with the anti-corruption movement by the party which has come out of the uh, entire anti-corruption movement.